Hello and welcome to News Click. I'm Anushka and here's another episode of the Daily Roundup. Let's take a look at the top stories for today. Shimla was witness to violence against students when a clash erupted between members of ABBP and RSS on one side and SFI on the other over sharing of a ground, with 17 students being injured in the process. The clash erupted when a group of RSS and ABVP students asked the SFI students to empty the ground on which they were playing cricket so that they could hold the RSS shaka. When the SFI students suggested that they could share the ground, they were attacked by the members of the ABVP and RSS. Following this incident, nearly 200 students from ABVP gathered at the campus. They destroyed SFI banners, stripped off posters and raised slogans like Jab Communists Kaate Jayenge, To Ram Ram Chilayenge. When Communists will be cut, they'll shout Ram Ram. Both the groups have filed FIRs and nearly nine students from SFI, including the SFI State General Secretary, Fikram Keth, have been arrested. No arrests have been made against the RSS yet. While the ground has been made the bone of contention, the real motive behind the attack was a recent protest held by SFI against the backdoor entry of RSS people into the university with the help of Education Minister Suresh Bhardwaj and the ABVP. To prevent exposing those involved with such illegal appointment, it's believed that the attack on the students was done so to scare the students and distract public attention from the real issue of illegal appointment. The Kochi Binale is a popular destination for artists from around the country as well as abroad. But recently, it's been making it to the news for all the wrong reasons. Now, as the Binale enters into its last week, the KMB Foundation has been accused of not paying its dues to workers. The KMB management was sent a legal notice by the contractor who's been associating with the Binale for a long time. The workers and contractors who are in the forefront to ensure that the exhibits and installations had been put up, have started an Instagram handle titled Justice from Binale 18 underscore 19 to highlight the untold stories of injustice in KMB. They are demanding that the organizers clear their dues before the end of the festival on March 29. The issue of payment of worker wages began in November last year. According to the Hindu, the legal notice warns of criminal and civil proceedings against the Binale Foundation if they fail to clear the outstanding amount of rupees 77 lakhs 59,277 rupees. KMB Foundation also owes other vendors a total of rupees 45 lakhs 75,315. The notice claimed. Progressive sections in Austria have expressed their shock at the insensitive decision of the Austrian Ministry of Justice and the Vienna Public Prosecutor's Office regarding a provocative and racist pamphlet issued by the Dobling District Committee of the Right-Wing Freedom Party of Austria. The authorities did not find any objectionable content in the pamphlet which called to ban Muslim immigrants from occupying flats in community buildings in Dobling, Vienna. SOS activists alleged that FPO was trying to bring back the Nazi tradition of ostracizing minorities. The Nazis, under Adolf Hitler in the Third Reich, Germany, had justified their fascist housing policy by saying that neither Aryan landlords nor Aryan housemates of a house could be expected to live together under one roof with Jewish tenants any longer. Earlier, the FPO had targeted the immigrant Muslim communities by accusing the Muslim Youth Austria MJO of spearheading Islamist ideology in the country. But in the wake of protests and after failing to prove the accusation in court, the FPO revoked the statement and offered a compensation to MJO. That's another episode of the Daily Roundup. With elections around the corner, there's a lot of fake news that's doing the rounds on social media. So please do go to our website for some real news that's not paid and do watch our videos on YouTube and Facebook.